Oh, uh, hello. It's Colin. It's Civic Election Day here in Vancouver and across British Columbia, I understand. So, I'm just hanging out with my killer bunny and the cat somewhere over there. Trying to remain calm. You see, we have a very well-oiled electoral machine here in Vancouver. One I vote for, by the by. And, oh, they want you to vote. Oh, they, they, they call me, like, every friggin' hour. They had this woman at the door just now. They won't stop telling me, you know, you can vote. Have you voted yet? Are you going to vote? You gotta vote, 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 vote. I know how to vote. I know where to vote. I know when I intend to vote. I know who I intend to vote for. Just wish they'd stop harassing me. It makes me feel like voting for the other guys just to spite them. Anyway, it's been going on for weeks, and as I do not actually answer my phone, um, I get a lot of hang-ups, and I get these recorded messages and invitations to online councils or something. And I just try my best to ignore it all. So, what do I do in these circumstances? I try to relax, but I'm not a herbal tree drinker. I don't, I don't drink any of that relaxed tea or whatever they like, ginger and cinnamon and all that nonsense that they put into tea that somehow relaxes you. So, instead, I'm having a refreshing, invigorate well, somewhat invigorating, cup of Prince of Wales tea, which I've talked about before. It's a lovely blend of black and green gunpowder uh, tea with, uh, with the hint of uh, one of my favorites, blackcurrant. So I figured, you know, I, I like blackcurrant a lot, and this is, you know, a, a variation. I wish they'd use blackcurrant more. I think there should be more teas of blackcurrant and blackberry. But this is the tea I'm drinking now to calm down. And in about an hour, I'm going to go off to the comics jam and I'll vote on the way. Yes, I promise I will vote on the way. But until then, just please leave me in peace with me, my killer bunny, the cat, and my tea. Cheers.